Welcome to our social media demo video. In this video, we will explore the admin panel and customer app interfaces. By the end, you will have a clear understanding of how these components come together to create a unique social media platform. Let's dive in. Social media app demo. Let's start with the admin panel. First, we have to log into the admin panel using the login credentials. In the admin panel, you will find different sections. All of these are there to help us to run our social media app smoothly. Dashboard. First, we start with the dashboard. We provide a comprehensive dashboard that allows us to monitor every aspect of the platform. This includes real-time tracking of key metrics, such as the number of registered users, total posts, reels, and audio available for reels. We can also view the post analytics in a graphical representation with which we are able to track when and in which month the number of posts are higher. Along with that, we can also view the reels rate, like out of 36 posts, how many reels were posted on the app. With this, we have the access to view the recent posts uploaded on our platform by users. We can view those posts over here. Next, let's explore the sub-admin management section. Here, we can find details of all the sub-admins. Currently, there are two sub-admins listed displaying their names, emails, and status, whether they are active or not. Additionally, we also have the option to edit or delete any of them. To add a new sub-admin manager, click on the sub-admin button. Then enter the name, email, password, and password confirmation for the sub-admin account. We can grant them specific permissions such as access to certain departments and select their status. Finally, Save the details to create the new sub-admin. Now let's shift our focus to customer management. We can efficiently manage the customers through this interface. We have the option to filter customers by their status. Simply select the desired status and the corresponding customer list will appear. Alternatively, we can search for customers by their name. In addition, you have the access to comprehensive customer details, including their name, contact number, email, ID creation date and current status. Post management. Let's now explore the post management section where we can conveniently browse through the posts uploaded by the users. Let's move on to the report management section. Here we have the ability to review user reported content that may have violated our platform's policies such as incitement of hate or offensive religious sentiments. In this section, we will find details about the reported content creator, the post description, and the reason why it was flagged for policy breach. As administrators, we hold the authority to take appropriate action based on our assessment. If a post indeed violates our platform policy, we have the option to delete it. However, if we determine that the post aligns with our policies, we can unflag it. This way, we can ensure a balanced and safe environment for our users. Next, let's explore the audio clip management section. Within this section, we can conveniently access and manage the audio clips available for use in your social media apps reels. We have the option to filter audio clips based on our preferences. If we wish to add a new audio clip, simply click on the add button where we can upload an image for the audio file, add the audio file itself, specify the artist's name, the song title and then save the details. Once we submit these details, the audio clip will be displayed here along with its profile image, artist name, song title, and the audio clip itself. Let's move on to the personalization section. Here, as an administrator, we have the ability to oversee the categories that content is created under. These categories function similarly to the hashtags found on the platforms like Instagram or Twitter. As an admin responsible for platform management, we can create specific categories that creators can use when generating their content. To make changes to these categories, simply click the edit button where we can add or modify the category name and set its status as active or inactive. Then save your updates. Now let's shift our focus to the verification request section. In this section, we have the access to all verification requests made by our users. We can review these requests, which include essential user details such as their name, document type, chosen category, and current status. Point management. Let's now explore the point management section. 
where we have control over various point allocation parameters. We can set the conversion rate of points to a single dollar and configure the following fields. Minimum points for convert, exchange rate of likes, daily point limits, post points, reaction points, comment points, registration points, share points, save points, points limit for pro users per day, limits of days after for convert the points for use, likes pay for account upgrade, referral code points. Users can redeem their earned points for the products available on the platform. Next, let's explore the star points management section. Here we can manage star points, which are used to assign badges to users. For example, we can grant a fan badge for 10 points, a micro-influencer badge for 2 stars, an influencer badge for 3 stars, an ambassador badge for 4 stars, and a sponsored brand badge for 5 stars. Simply select the appropriate badge and save the details. Next, let's explore the QR code management section where we can efficiently oversee the QR codes on our platform. Here we find the details of available QR codes, including their serial number, title, description, link, total scan, scan per day, number of scans, points, QR code, QR created by, and status it is active or inactive. If you want to add a new QR code, click on the add button, add title, description, link, Set per day scan limit, total scans, number of days, points for per scan, and the scan details, and save the details. Next, we move to the like package management section. Here we can manage the offers which we are offering to our users for paid likes. Here we can view the packages with title, description, number of likes, price, status, and the package owner. If you want to add a new package, click on the Add button, Add Title, Description of the Package, Number of Likes you are offering in that package, Price, In-App Identifier and Save the Details. Once we save the details, they will get reflected here. Next, we move to the CMS section. Here we can manage the About Us details which we want to show on your customer app. To edit the details, click here, add page name which can either be privacy policy or terms and condition. Then update the add page title, page description, meta title, meta keyword, meta description and update the details. Next we move to ambassador management section. Here you can upload the, uh, um, cut. Here you can upload the ambassador icons, benefit management, Next, we move to the Benefit Management section, Merchants. In the Benefit Management section, first we have the Merchants subsection, where we can manage the details of the merchants, like image of the merchant, name, address, points, create date, and status of the merchant. To add a new merchant, click on the Add Merchant button, upload image, add name, add address, points, and save the details. Next, we have the Invoices where we can view the invoice details with username, merchant name, merchant address, invoice number, bill amount, invoice file, invoice creation date and the status of invoice. Product management. Next we have product management where we can view the list of the products which a user can redeem against the points earned. To add a new product, click on the add button, add name, brand of the product, quality of the product, description of the product, points, Upload product video, iOS and Android file and save the details. Redeem management. Next we have the redeem management where we can view the details of the users who have redeemed their points. We can view their name, name of the product against which the user redeemed their points, product points, create date, accepted by and the status fields. That was all about the admin panel. If you're considering building a social media app for your business, look no further. At CodePool Labs, we are here to assist you. With a track record of serving over 3,000 satisfied clients worldwide, we are experts in custom software and app development. Contact us by clicking on the link given in the description. Fill up the form with your name, your email address, your contact number and a few details about your project 
along with the date and time slot when you will be available to attend a call. Click Submit, which will take you to the next screen where you can select your project budget and your industry. After doing that, click Submit. This way you can easily schedule a free consultation and a personalized demo session with us at a time that suits you. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. Thanks for watching this video to the end.